So this is it. This was my last week at the farm with the good food. And what an eventful week it was. Um, feels like everything happened this last week. Uh, for starters, winter showed up. And I was nervously looking at the weather reports, looking at the overnight temperature go down to minus 6, minus 8, minus 10, minus 12, minus 15, minus 18 is where it ended up. And uh, Susan convinced me to see the better part of Valor and move out of my tent for those extremely cold overnights. For the record, my sleeping bag is rated for 5 degrees. It's a summer sleeping bag, so probably it's good that I had a place to wind up. So then the question is, well, where did I end up? And uh, the answer is the machine shop. This has been my office and bedroom for the last three days. You can see my computer's just tucked off to the side, and my bedroom is at the top of these stairs. This floor right here is where I was sleeping. So the arrival of winter is why this week was so busy, um, because there's a whole bunch of things that have to happen with the cattle um, now that winter is here. The cattle have been on pasture all summer, and uh, that means they've been able to feed themselves and forage, and all that feed, well, most of it is eaten now, but what's left is under snow, so they can't feed themselves. So we did a cattle drive, a short one, about half a mile across somebody else's barley field. We drove them home from the pasture across the barley field, and now they're wintering here um, on the main property itself, where Glenn can feed the cattle with bales of hay. Um, so they're not trying to truck hay a mile away to their pasture. The other exciting thing that happened this week is the cattle auction. Um, that's right, we finally sold some cattle. And th this is a big deal. I've been waiting two months for this to happen because really it only happens once a year. And the reason it happens now is the same reason that we brought the cows home from the pasture. Cows don't have anything to eat. Susan's going to have to pay to feed them through the winter. So the cows that she's been growing and fattening all summer, it's time to sell them so she doesn't have to pay, pay to keep them up. So we took a group of about 20 steers to auction last week, and the auction happened pretty much as you know, you expect. Um, cows come on on the side, the auctioneer says, oh, going once, going twice, and he's got a whole patter. I can't duplicate it, but um, the cattle are only in the ring for a minute or two, and then it's the next group on. So it's, uh, it all happens really fast. Um, and then uh, this group of heifers behind me, we took off of some pasture yesterday. They'll be going to auction later today, um, but I won't be going with them because I'm heading out. I'm headed east to my next farm, which is, get this, in Nova Scotia. I'm driving across the country to get to Nova Scotia to film with a dairy farmer there. So this next week, I'll be sharing some footage from my trip across the country because it'll take me a while to get there. Um, but uh, you can look forward to that. You can see uh, what it's like to drive across Canada in the winter by subscribing to the YouTube channel. Uh, you can follow the documentary at thehandsthatfeedus.ca and sign up for the mailing list. Or you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I'll see you next week.